we will see the most unusual and little-known super ships and vessels designed to do something that others cannot do. Let's start with the ships which are used in offshore wind power plants construction. The offshore power plants can be built on section C with a shallow depth not much deeper than 100 feet. First of all, the seabed must be prepared. Such a vessel is perfect for this task. It can accurately position a stone to the depth up to 5,000 feet. In addition, such vessels are great for covering marine cables and pipelines. And this is Spunnen, a floating crane with an extra-large payload capacity of 9,500 tons. Due to this, it can even lift such a giant mining power shovel. There are only two cranes in the world able to lift more. The crane installs piles for wind turbines now. When the pile foundation is ready, such vessels are used to install wind turbine towers on it. Special vessels called self-lifting ships or jack-up ships are used for such operations. The first of such class ships was the British ship called Resolution, built in 2004. These offshore vessels are equipped with cranes, of large capacity more than 1,000 tons, and four or six support pillars with an average length about 330 feet, which allows them to operate at depths of up to 200 feet. At last for delivering the generated electricity to the land, an electrical cable must be laid along the bottom of the sea to connect the wind turbine with the shore. For such tasks, cable layers or cable ships are used. Such vessels are designed to lay cables offshore. Cable ships are known for laying the first transatlantic telegraph cable securing communication between Europe and North America in the middle of the 19th century. This unique ship is a nuclear-powered icebreaker of the Arctic class. Icebreakers of this class are the largest in the world. One of the main advantages of nuclear icebreaker is the absence of the need for refueling. Its movement provides by two nuclear reactors. In the Arctic icy waters, where refueling is difficult and sometimes impossible, this is the most important advantage. There were only 10 such ships in the world and all of them were built in the USSR and Russia. As of 2016, only 5 of them are in service. Nuclear-powered icebreakers were designed to provide navigation along the northern sea route that passes through the ice-covered waters of the Arctic. This is the shortest sea route for transportation of goods between the Far East, the European part of Russia and Europe. Through this sea route, more than 1 million tons of cargo passes annually. The atomic ice-breaking fleet of Russia allows delivering 5 million tons of cargo annually by the Northern Sea Route. The Polaronics is a multi-purpose deep-water vessel, able to carry out installation work at depths up to 10,000 feet. Before you start drilling an oil well or extracting gas, it is necessary to locate their deposits under the ocean floor and determine the quantity and quality of resources. The following three innovative vessels are designed to conduct marine seismic exploration in the discovery of oil and gas deposits. In essence, this is a tug that pulls behind itself an extensive network of seismic sensors that record sound vibrations of the bottom. The received data is processed by special equipment. Due to the unusual and surprising design of the hull, they emit minimal noise and also reduce sea pitching, which has a positive effect on the accuracy of data acquisition. The design of the case also affects the effectiveness of the study, which is proportional to the number of sensors that can simultaneously pull the vessel so that they do not get tangled in between themselves. To date, Ramform Titan can pull the largest number of sensors, thanks to its design. No, this is not a super ship. It is an ordinary barge. Such vessels are used to transport cargo along rivers. But, there are special ships in the world designed to carry very large loads that are beyond the power of normal ships. These vessels are the world's powerlifting champions and are used when there is a need to move very large structures like a giant offshore drilling rig. Blue Marlin is one of the best among them. 
This Dutch semi-submersible vessel is capable of carrying loads of 60,000 tons. For example, this aircraft carrier of the Royal Australian Navy is 760 feet long with a displacement of 27,000 tons. For those who don't know the displacement of the ship is equal to its weight. And this is the construction of the spar platform hull thrust to Hanstein offshore gas platform. With a 650 feet long and a diameter of over 160 feet it is the biggest spar platform hull ever built in terms of diameter and displacement. Now, this structure should be delivered to the Norwegian continental shelf. And only the world largest heavy transport vessel can do it. So, meet the next super ship. Boca Vanguard is the world's number one in heavy haulage. It can lift four times heavier loads than the weight of a previous aircraft carrier. With its open deck measuring 900 by 230 feet and capacity to lift 117,000 metric tons, this ship has the ability to lift and haul even Nimitz class aircraft carrier. In 2013, Shell commissioned Samsung Heavy Industries to build a ship that became the largest floating object in the history of mankind. Its length is 1,600 feet and width is 243 feet. The ship hull mass is 260,000 tons and the dead weight is 600,000 tons and it costs more than 12 billion US dollars. Prelude does not have its own engines and moves using tugs. In fact, it is a floating factory for processing natural gas to liquefied. Prelude has a very specific destination, a vast underwater gas field, starting a hundred kilometers off the west coast of Australia. The Shell obtained the rights for field development, but the company was unable to start development, as local authorities prohibited it from building a gas processing factory. The factory, 50 kilometers from the tourist city of Broome, did not fit into the Australian concept of ecotourism. It turned out that the power engineers are stuck in a dead center, there is gas, you can extract it, but you cannot process it. And Shell found another way, to locate the plant right at the point of production. As a result, this mega ship was built. In April 2018, the real sea giant set off for its first cruise. Symphony of the Seas is the world's largest cruise ship. The vessel is almost 1,200 feet long, 230 feet high with a displacement of 228,000 tons. It can take on board up to 7,000 passengers and 2,000 attendants. The ship has 18 decks, on which are located, 20 restaurants, 15 pools, and many other entertainment facilities, ranging from shops and ending with cinemas. The next three vessels were designed to become the most environmentally friendly in their class. One of them is named a city of St. Petersburg. It is a car carrier vessel made from Usain Motor Company and designed with a sleek spherical prow to reduce wind resistance, thus saving 800 tons of fuel annually. Due to this, reduces the amount of harmful emissions to the atmosphere. This is the E-Ship 1. Who knows, maybe the in the future the ships will have such shape. From a distance, the ship looks like a four-pipe steamer, but after looking closely, you can see that the four large supporting rotors, which rise from its deck, rotate. This helps the movement of the ship using the Magnus effect. According to ship owners' forecasts, the use of this system should save up to 40% of fuel. The vessel was designed to transport wind turbine blades for offshore power plants. Planet Solar is the largest solar-powered boat in the world. The boat was built in Germany and launched in 2010. It costs 15 million euros. This 100 feet long boat can reach speed up to 14 knots. In May 2012, after 584 days sailing it became the first solar boat that made a circumnavigation around the globe. One of the project's goals was to focus public attention on the importance of renewable energy sources for environmental protection. Pioneering Spirit is the world's largest vessel for the installation, dismantling, and transportation offshore drilling platforms, and for laying underwater pipelines. 
This vessel is involved in the construction of Turkish Stream. It is a natural gas pipeline running from the Russian Federation to Turkey. This newest vessel must break all records in depth and speed of laying pipes, for this, it has the most advanced equipment. In particular, along the entire length of the largest ship in the world. Seven automatic welding stations are installed, and six stations for applying a protective layer on the pipes. Its equipment allows laying pipelines at record depths of up to 12,000 feet. Its full displacement of 1 million tons, also broke all records. It is almost two times much more than Shell's Prelude and five times than the Symphony of the Seas. The length of the vessel is 1,250 feet and its width is more than 400. The statement that a small town can fit on its deck is quite true. On the deck area, it has no equal.